He was a kind of a shy man, actually. There were several situations in our relationship over the years. I stuck up for him. Um, we're playing uh, the Ice Bowl, and the week before the Ice Bowl, uh, there was a uh, Esquire magazine writer that came into, time, into town by the name of Leonard Schechter. And Leonard wrote a nasty piece on Coach Lombardi. He said he was strutting around like Mussolini, had his chest stuck out like a pigeon and screaming at everybody. And it was just a butcher piece of literature. And uh, Coach Lombardi's mother heard about it. I heard and we heard that she was crying and very upset and very distraught over the article. And I said to myself, I said, if I ever get a chance, to speak up and say something in his behalf, I damn sure will do it. And luck would have it, the block in the ice bowl got me in front of the cameras, and Tom Brookshire, which is a, a rare expense for a lineman, lineman to get in front of the cameras. You know, we don't we don't do that every day. We're not like the running backs and the quarterbacks. But Tom Brookshire said, "Jerry, uh, what about Coach Lombardi? There's been a lot of controversy about him." Um, what, about, what do you think about him? I said, Brookie, people don't know Coach Lombardi. They don't understand him. They have no idea who he really is. We know him, we understand him, and we love him. This is one beautiful man. And uh, I think those words were appropriate. I think that he was a very special guy. He came up to me afterwards and the, the next week and he in the training room and he put his arm on my shoulder and my arm and he looked at me two or three times and trying to make eye contact with me and he said that was very nice that was a very nice thing you did and he patted me on the arm and went away but he was a very emotional guy himself and he hit it with that <laughs> and he did a, hit it very well at times too